Sadika Chan Bethanka. What's up? I'm Ayla Sadika Chan Ayla Ka. This is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Yindi Ton Rapsu, Let's Talk BL citywide podcast. Welcome back to the podcast. Today is such a special day. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have back on the show one of our first guests that was on Let's Talk BL. He is the teacher that taught us all the Thai that we know, so don't hold that against him. <laughs> the translator that helped us survive, truly survive talking to our favorite actors. And our, our friend, friend, William. <laughs> Hi, Sadiqa. I'm William from my Thai dish here, and I'm the team of, you know, Let's Talk BL. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Yes, it was it was less than a year ago, like what, six months. I was like scrolling through you through uh, tr- uh, Instagram. 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 Like, I don't know what platform I'm on. Uh, and I was like, Ayla, here's this guy teaching people Thai. Maybe we should talk to him. And now we're all best friends. <laughs> and now we're all friends. We become best friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, happy to like, meet you guys. Yes. I'm so excited you're back because... You get the full star treatment, William. It's true. <laughs> Can <laughs> I say something? For us. Yes. Please. Honestly, I feel so weird right now. <laughs> like, all, all the time, like interviews, like other people, and now, you know, is my turn. And okay. <laughs> do you do you remember the first interview that we did with you? Like when we interviewed you. When we you? interviewed you. Yeah. Ah, uh, that, that, how is it? That time we, how is it? didn't know each other much so i feel a bit awkward you know that time if you could you know go back and see the video yeah but now we are friends we are like more relaxed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but it's gonna be so fun it's it's, gonna be it's it's funny because we have all of these conversations and i don't know if people know like before we start recording and after we start recording when we do the interviews like the three of us will just talk yeah and we all have like a line group chat and we just yeah. talk so it's actually be- it's like us really me asking william questions about his life in thailand yeah <laughs> like william tell me about your life and yeah so we've yeah. gotten to know william over the past six months and and now we want everyone friends. else to get to know william so yes. as per usual because again you get the star treatment william oh. yep <laughs> game snook snook kan my ka. Good. That's right. Yay. Die up. Let's go. I'm down for it. Okay. So the one thing that we've talked about behind the scenes that I don't know if people have uh talked about in front of the the video. I'm having mm-hmm. a hard time with words tonight. My English isn't so good. Uh is your full Thai name? Can you tell the people your full Thai full name? Full Thai name, William. Oh, okay. Actually, my Thai name is not as long as, you know, other Thai people's name. Yeah, my name is Weera Yut. That's it? Weera Yut. Sing T. That's my surname. Oh, that's name. Yeah, yeah. Weera Yut Sing T. Yeah, yeah. Weera Yut Sing T. That's all. Love it. And yeah. another fun fact that I think a lot of people don't know that we actually love when we hear you talk to actors, right? When we're doing the setup, is mm-hmm. your Thai nickname is actually Arm. <laughs> yeah. It's actually my name is Arm, like my nickname, Thai nickname. Yeah. When you introduced yourself to Um and Nenon, you introduced yourself as P Arm. And I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. We both like looked at each other and we were like, <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We- that that my nickname, yeah. But how to say the William, the name William is from V Rayut, the oh. the surname, yeah. Because like how to say it's quite weird. Like other people call you Arm, <laughs> you mean for English speaker, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Is it a weird experience for you knowing English and speaking English to interact with people who like you know, like? Why do so many Thai people have the nickname Arm? Arm. We know so many yeah. arms. Like, is it in so relation to the limb or is it like a just a general word? Just a, a normal word. Yeah. Interesting. Like Actually, that. like, how do you say like Thai people have like a lot of, you know, cool nicknames and, right. you know, weird nicknames. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, right. Do all Thai <laughs> nicknames have meaning behind them or is it sometimes just like a word you see (laughs) 
normally like for nickname it's just like a name that you know a cool name a fancy name like that no no meaning but the meaning will be for the um the the first name yeah gotcha that's right love it very cool okay next up birthday. next up <laughs> Birthday. birthday okay okay so, tell us if we have this right yeah i wrote this down because i think at some point i asked you and so i wrote it down so i know you're okay birthday. march 28th shai rumai oh <laughs> shai ha that's shai. right exactly march 28th march 28th you're not I'm gonna kidding. say that in thai Okay, so William, you know, we started saying it. <laughs> no pleasure. Time. No pleasure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Actually, okay, William, I'm just going to tell the story. We're all friends. It's fine. I'm sorry to listeners. We just did this interview, and I was doing this for one of the actors, and he saved me before I had to say it in Thai. He was like, shy, shy, that's right. And so I didn't say it, and everyone else on the interview was like, you have to say it. You have to yeah, do it yeah, in yeah. Thai. We and know. I was like, no, he saved me. So I'm having PTSD flashbacks right now. Okay. <laughs> William. One kid could. Okay. Pet manakom. Ah, minakom. 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 Okay. That's William, good. William's reaction when we speak Thai is truly one of my favorite things about you because it's like you're – you're like basically saying no, that's wrong, but in the most encouraging way. Yes, best teacher. <laughs> best teacher award goes to truly teacher spirit. Yes. <laughs> yes, so good. Okay, next up we have your height. I think we've talked oh. about this before, but we guessed it this time because we don't. Okay, you know. Okay, so Kwam Song Ke Nung Jed Si. Okay, Chai Kap Chai. Hi. So again, if you don't speak Thai, that's 174 centimeters, <laughs> about 5859 if you're in the States. Yeah. Chai oh, hop. Exactly. That was a good little guess. Perfect. Okay. Fun fact time. It's fun fact time. Yeah, we may have also made up some fun facts. Fun facts. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready. First, first fun fact, William. You mm -hmm. have met Tool Pacorn, a, a BL favorite. Yes. And at the time, you did not know he was a BL favorite. Shai, mm -hmm. Shai, that's right. Tell us the story. Yes. Okay. The story is I have a Chinese friend, and he came. Uh, he's a um, Tun Pagon fan. Oh. He came to travel to Thailand, and then uh, Tun Pagon he has his business, a massage. You know, right. that's right. And then my friend just took me to that store. Oh, yeah, and then be there, and he yeah there. too, <laughs> and he's there. Yeah, and I didn't know who is he. Like, lots of people, you know, take pictures with him. And then my friend just said, oh, go take picture with the, you know, star. And I said, okay. I just go ahead and I, I didn't know who is he. Yeah. Amazing. That's right. That's, That's so right. fun. Okay. Another fun fact is you went to university in Taiwan. Chai That's right. So what made you go to university in Taiwan? Uh, basic. Um, how do you say? I want to study Chinese, actually. Mm -hmm. So that's why I go to Taiwan. Gotcha. What did you? What did you get your degree in? Uh, I graduate from travel and tourism. Oh, cool. Chai. Very fun. So next, are we gonna have like Williams Thai tours? Thai tour. <laughs> in the future, we'll be the first yeah. customers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Sure. I have. Okay. Next fun fact. And I I truly hope <laughs> that you are not highly concerned that we know this. <laughs> what is that? Feels so scared. Your hometown, your province where you live is about 335 kilometers outside of Bangkok. It's about four and a half hours. Oh my God, you do homework. <laughs> <laughs> it's only okay. because we've sent William things. We've sent, we've sent yeah, you yeah. things. Shai <laughs> hab, So tell us about your province. Uh, my province is, uh, how do you say, it's more like countryside. Yeah, it's more like more, how do you say, mountain area. Is it like Tale mountain of a Thousand City. Stars? Sorry? Is it like Tale of a Thousand Stars? Oh, yeah, something like that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Shai hab, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty good here. I love, you know, quiet place. Mm. Yeah. 
ใช่ครับ Very cool. But okay. so far from the Bangkok, you know, it take like you know six hours to get there. So how do you normally get to Bangkok? Because you were just in Bangkok, do you take like a bus? Do you fly? How do you get there? Uh, I sometimes take a bus. I sometimes fly. Mm. Oh. Depend on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, if it wasn't obvious, today we are here to talk about Thai culture and <laughs> okay. to get all of our Thai culture questions answered. Yes, because it's truly what the people. Well, truly, the people just wanted more William. Yeah, yeah. And so we thought William culture, it all makes sense. Yeah, because when we got into BLs, there was quite a few times where we were like, we don't understand this mm. what's happening. Random side thing that's happening that has nothing to do with the story, but because we love to learn about the culture, we were mm -hmm. like, we need to research this. Like, how are these things things that really happen? in thailand because there's a lot of things that happen in like western media that we're like mm, that's I don't not real know if that actually mm. happens in real life and so it's always fun to talk to people who live in that culture to be like can you explain this thing tell me mm. why this is how it is. Like, sure. there was, like there was something relating to schools that ayla asked somebody that was like You saw people going in and out of classrooms through like out of windows. the windows. Yes, yeah. in Taiwan. Yeah, and so we <laughs> asked a, 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 someone else that we interviewed why, why. Mm. But yeah, okay, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about culture first. Up, yeah. So we had some listeners. If you're listening, if you submitted a question for William, we are going to talk about it today. So the very first question actually is a listener submitted question. Um, so shout out Renee. <laughs> um, First question, is BL as popular as it seems in Thailand? For example, does everyone know who Te Tawan is? Uh, honestly, not really. Yeah. Mm. It's more like for international, like, you know, fans who know, like, you know, BL things. But in Thailand, it's not a really big thing. Just some group of people know about it. Yeah. Mm. Is it? Is it more known in Bangkok and then like bigger cities? Because there are pictures yeah. everywhere. I mean, you that's said right. Some pictures of like these actors on like billboards and things like that. So like I imagine that like maybe in Bangkok, do they know kind of they're more familiar with it? Yeah, mostly in Bangkok. Yeah. Mm. But it's yeah getting... Because when you were there, you were sending to our line group chat just like <laughs> billboards of actors that you knew we liked. Yeah, yeah. Of like Bill yeah. and Bill Ken, PP, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mostly on in the big city, yeah. Mm, gotcha. So were you saying it's starting to get more popular or not yet? Yeah, it's getting more and more popular. Shy mm. hub. Very cool. I know. I definitely can't wait to go to bangkok one day i know <laughs> oh come come no come let's hang out we'll take william's tie tour yeah yeah tie tour <laughs> we're gonna have a let's talk bl uh opening of william's tie tourism yes yeah let, let's do it sponsored, the muscle, you got sponsored you guys, by tie tourism <laughs> tie tour. <laughs> i'll take you to like oh many places massage thai street food oh so good all the things all we the have things. a question like that coming up so hold that thought. oh okay okay next up okay yeah. william i'm so excited to talk about this <laughs> because all i right. know you have a story about this yeah yeah yeah. i'm really excited we've about talked it. about this before but we want the listeners we want everyone to know about this yeah. so all right the question is tell us about the stickers the heart stickers that we see that are put <laughs> all over boys shirts because this is something that we see in drama so it's in yeah. fish upon the sky it's like a major plot point in this bl yeah oh, and in bad yeah. buddy and in bad buddy. in bad buddy yes so what is this why why do the girls do this what does it mean yeah. uh is that it? is that a creation from you <laughs> not, not from the fans <laughs> no it's from us no it's from us yeah yeah yeah. okay so we want to make you tell this story we love your story <laughs> all right I, i told you once right yeah <laughs> it's it's always happened on valentine's yeah so basically the stickers are the um the how do you say it, representative If you like someone, you just put on the sticker on that, you, you know, how to say, someone's shirt. Gotcha. Yeah. And if, like, that person have, like, a lot of stickers, that means that person is so popular in so the school. Popular. 
Yeah. We know William had a ton of stickers. And so, year. of course, if you watch Fish Upon the Sky, you know that Mix's character, yeah. his shirt was mm. covered in the stickers. Yeah, yeah. And it's this really momentous moment in the BL because he then goes and puts a sticker on Poohin's shirt because Poohin had zero stickers. Yeah, and yeah. it's like a really nice moment. It's very sweet. Oh. But William, you never suffered from having no stickers, did you? <laughs> uh you mean you mean stickers you got a lot of stickers didn't you oh actually it, it's so funny because i drive motorbike to school yeah. on high school in high school yeah and then how to say in the morning i just go you know to school and got some but you know like when i came back my entire motorbike is full of stickers <laughs> <laughs> and the, the thing is i need to you know put like single things out, out, out like that. Like take a long time. That's oh so funny. Gosh, gosh, that's amazing. So is it most is it is it primarily girls giving stickers to boys? Mostly, mostly girls. But guys can also give to girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And boys. Yeah. Yeah. All all the things. And, yeah. All the all the yeah. All the things. <laughs> I love it. Cute. Yes. William, yeah. I would give you a sticker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> Have you you got one? How about in like American culture? You guys So we don't we don't do the sticker thing. Yeah. In school in America, we uh we actually have some here. Yeah. <laughs> because it's about to be Valentine's Day when we're yeah. recording. But oh. um we do we exchange little cards and candy. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Like, usually you make this little like sometimes you have like a paper bag or you have like a little uh mailbox that I you'll mean, put on. I mean, my mom was extra, so she would get us like full size mailboxes yeah. like that you would see on the street. But and like, paint for oh. your, like for your dress. Like for your desk, your desk school desk. At school. Yeah. Oh. And people would put little Valentine people put little Valentine's cards in them. Yeah, usually the Valentines are like themed according to like what's going on in popular culture. So like they'll have superheroes on them and they'll say like you're my hero and it'll say like to or from and you like write your name yeah oh, okay and then our school did uh singing valentines where they would like give a give um like a rose and then they'd sing a song kind of like you see in in mean girls and like some of them yeah those. so the oh. rose, my school did that too you would go and you would like pay a dollar yeah and you could like say who you wanted the rose to be delivered to yeah. Oh, that's like excited. <laughs> but yeah, the sticker uh, thing is really cute. Yeah, it's I a, like the stickers. It's a fun little thing. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of love and celebration, tell us what holidays do Thai couples celebrate? Oh, Thai couples mostly celebrate uh, wine ties. And another one traditional festival from Thailand is Loi Gatong. Do you yeah. know like Katong? Yeah. It's like it's like Lantern Festival. It's really romantic. Oh, gotcha. I didn't realize it was a romantic festival because it happens in November, right? Yeah. November. And so we just saw a lot of the BL boys celebrated it. Yeah. Because Safe House was going on at that time. And they like had to make the flower things. Was that yeah. what that yeah, was? Yeah. Before? Yeah. I didn't realize it was a romantic festival though. Mm, so I have like how say couple tend to float the the flower on the river together. So that means the couple will how say stay together forever like that. Yeah, that's why oh, in Safe House all the boys made their little things and Om and Nanan made theirs and they floated them in a pool and oh, everybody pool. got really excited during the show because theirs like went, went together. All the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Went all together. Yes. Yeah. You know, this festival is killing single people yeah <laughs> it's uh yeah that's right is it rough uh, william <laughs> Amazing. i feel like you're trying to out william for being single <laughs> i'm sure william will not be single for long let's be honest okay i hope so <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so you have already mentioned one festival. Can you tell us about the other like big festivals? What are the other big festivals in Thailand? Every, we, know? we do know. I was watching a show about, and they showed um that like big water festival, like where they oh, have okay. water gun fights, and that's Songkran, right? Songkran, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, what? Songkran is basically um, Thai New Year. Okay. Yeah, it's like a big celebration. We splash the water. <laughs> okay. It looks awesome. So why is there like meaning behind splashing the water? Like why do you do that? Oh, actually, uh, the water is represent the um, what's that called in English? Uh, abandon prosperity. Oh, like Oh, prosperity. So like yeah. a new, like a new year, like new prosperity. Yeah, new year. We mm -hmm. we how say we let water to clean all the bad things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Are and there all. any other really big festivals that we sh that everyone should just know about? Mm, I'll say Songkran is the 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 big the big the biggest festival, yeah, in Thailand. Are there and are there different provinces that celebrate different festivals? Uh, actually, almost the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so when right. so we know Loi Katong is November, and when is Songkran? Is it? It's in the spring. No, it's summer. summer. April. April. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, it's like the Songkran is like the the hottest season. So that's why we also like you know play water. Yeah, <laughs> so practical. So practical. They're like, if we're it. gonna have a hot holiday, let's make it water. <laughs> it's so fun. You should come. Like maybe after pandemic, it's like a big party. You know, everyone just dance. Just you know. Oh my gosh, I imagine the first one kind of after everything subsides is gonna be insane. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So do you? So I guess then you don't have to go anywhere for these festivals. Like there's not any one place for things, right? Because in the States, we have we have things like Mardi Gras, for example. Like you can only go to Mardi Gras, the big Mardi Gras in New Orleans. There are mm -hmm. there are other ones, other places, but like the big one is in one city in one part right. of the country. So oh. so in Thailand, like if there's a holiday everybody across the whole country celebrates it's not like you have to go to bangkok or ha you have to go somewhere i like to go somewhere yeah right, you don't have yeah. to so if you wanted to come for songkran you don't mm -hmm. have to go to bangkok you could go to like yeah phuket or right like some like more like specific if you were to celebrate would you go anywhere outside of your hometown like would you want to go to another province to celebrate that holiday ah okay let me think Mm, let me think. I'm actually not really know about festival. Oh, but there is like one one place really well known for the party. I'll say the party in state. Okay. It's really famous. It's called Full Moon Party. Okay. So every month it's in Panga, it's near Phuket. Mm. It's like a big party, like where all the people come and enjoy the party. Yeah. So full moon party, fun story. Tarn type season two. Oh, really? Is that? Yes. Oh, okay. You know it. Okay. Oh. Tarn type season two. And now that you're saying this, I bet the place that Type's family is from mm -hmm. is from where did you say it is? Pa uh, wait, I forgot. Panga. Oh, Phuket. Panga. Near right, because he's like. Phuket family owns like a beach resort mm -hmm. in the show and there's a oh. full moon party in tarn type oh season that's two. right that's right uh, actually okay. no it's season one because that's when that's when like he has that it confrontation with one. his best friend yes and Sorry, he like finds one. i knew it was tarn type. yeah he found yeah. he finds out like his best friend is gay it's right like, it's a whole thing it's a whole thing uh oh, okay. look at us tying yeah. it all together <laughs> everything you guys starting must come. to make sense yeah yeah <laughs> that's really cool Okay, so kind of moving on into the a different kind of celebration. Mm -hmm. So we see when new series start, they do these uh, worship ceremonies. So oh, okay. where they like, you know, set out the They'll food do blessing and, ceremonies yeah. at like temple. Uh, yeah. So what can you tell us why they do these? Like what uh, is a blessing ceremony yeah. and why do they do it? And then would you do it for anything? Is it like if you opened a new business, would yeah. you have a blessing ceremony? Yes, mostly we have that. Because like most people, uh, how to say, Thai, Thai people believe in, you know, like some believe in Goas, some believe in, you know, Buddhism, right? Yeah, so they do that as a sign of, you know, a new beginning to bless their business or their movies to be, you know, go smooth like that. Because like on the filming, like they may 
they will they might be the um, how to say some accident like maybe the rain or the storm or you yeah. know that can make you know the movies go smoothly so we just uh pray for the um the god to make everything go smooth like that and so you would do it for anything new so would you do a blessing ceremony for like if you were having a baby or is it just for specific events just specific events okay. yeah mm. mostly on like the new beginning and also like oh if you have like a house if you move to a new house you do that too oh. do you yeah. do it at the house yeah at a house oh. it's like even interesting uh and right. then they they throw the flowers at the end Oh yeah, yeah, they do. They is do. that symbolic or is that just pretty? <laughs> uh it's symbolic. Yeah. It's how to say there are many different how to say beliefs. So oh, it depends on yeah, the beliefs oh, as well. Interesting. The other thing yeah. that I wanted to ask in relation to Buddhism is that we see in shows randomly where like we saw it in Bad Buddy when they were about to have the babies. Mm -hmm. They had monks come and they had like presented them with stuff. But then it also just happens randomly where like at the end of their driveway, they'll have like a table set out and they'll provide stuff to monks. Is that something that like happens every day where like, or do they, do like the monks come by and you can like give them offerings? Uh, you mean like give them the food? Or? Yeah. yeah. It's usually food that you see in shows. Yeah. Like, uh, you mean in like the morning when the monks come, people like give the food like that? Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's like part of the culture. So do the monks just kind of like go through each, like go through, like walk down the street and you just, if you know they're going to be there. So you present them for with something? Yes, that's right. Every day. Mm -hmm. I think every day. Yeah. Interesting. That's right. Actually, I'm not Buddhist, so I'm not I'm not quite sure much. But what I read about it is because how to say the monk just, you know, teach us about the giving so that people can, you know, learn how to give first like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. So not being Buddhist, do you because Buddhism is so big and like temples are everywhere. Do you just kind of know growing up in Thai culture, like a lot of Buddhism? <laughs> yeah. A lot of Buddhism things. Yeah. It's in the school, just, in the work. It's yeah. just part of the culture. Yeah. Part of the culture. Interesting. I feel like that's a lot like Christianity is here. Yeah. <laughs> like if you're not Christian, you pretty much know. Cause you know, we have Christmas and Easter, like all those are associated with holidays and schools and that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like part of culture, right? Yeah. Yeah. So talking still a little bit about Buddhism. Yeah. We see, right. and especially we've seen a very notable actor just uh, did his monkhood, mm -hmm. right? So Sing To oh. oh, just went and did it. And he's back now. He only was gone for like two weeks. Yeah. But oh, yeah. so... Do all men in Thailand become monks? And if if so, why is that like a rite of passage? The reason, yeah, ah, uh, it's actually only for Buddhist. Buddhist men need to be the monk. So actually, there are two main different reason. The first, not reason, uh, how to say duration, the time. The first one is when the Buddhist man become turn to twenty, okay. they be the monk. Yeah. Another one is uh, when in your family members, you know, pass away, you'll be a monk oh. like that. That's right. Interesting. Interesting. And so is it how long? Because we know we saw Singto only went for a couple weeks. But mm -hmm. then we, we you do see it again in Tarn type type. The character goes and becomes yep. a monk and he does it for a year. Yeah. So mm. what? How long does the typical, do I guess, Thai man do it for? It actually depends. Yeah, depends on like, like your time. But yeah. mostly no like set time. Sorry. There's no set time. No, no set time. Mm -hmm. Like seven days, two months, six months, one year, like that. Interesting. Interesting. So interesting. Yeah, those temples look very cool. beautiful. Yeah. Yes. 
Ah. It has been interesting getting into these TV shows because it's very unique, especially to Thai culture, where you watch TV and you learn so much about Buddhism. Like that is just not something that we ever encounter, I think, in any other culture. Because Mm -hmm. like there were so many things like you hear people talking about going to make merit. It's like so ingrained in kind of everything that you do and so it it's so fascinating to like you're watching a tv show but you're learning about a religion <laughs> like it's very cool oh yeah yeah you learn like the culture in the same time yeah uh-huh. it's very cool okay so you talked about this a little bit earlier we're moving it we're gonna do fun 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 okay <laughs> this again is a listener submitted question all right where would be the first place that you would take us if we came to visit Where's the first place you would take us? Mm, anywhere in Thailand? <laughs> yeah, anywhere. Uh, let me think, let me think. Mm, maybe I'll take you guys. Actually, there's many places that you guys can, I'll take you guys. Maybe temples, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can yeah. anybody just go to temples? Oh, Ashley. Oh, Yes, you can go. Okay. Ladies can go. Guys can go. Mm-hmm. But you need to wear like, you know, how to say, not a sexy wear, you know. How to say you that? Have to, <laughs> you have to, co- you have yeah. to be modest. This be is modest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Common. Yeah, like, so may, do you, you have to cover probably your knees and your shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So... This next one I'm really excited about. This is also a listener submitted question. And I'm really excited because I know the answer. And I figured it out on my own because you taught us numbers, right? Remember when we we added all that tie when we were interviewing Omen Nanan and Uh you had like taught us all this stuff because we were like, William, we really want to do more. Like we want to do the most for this. Okay. And I realized truly this, like, maybe like two weeks ago, I think I like texted Beth Ann and I was like, oh my God. I was like, it hit me. <laughs> I understand. So the question is, uh, tell okay. us the significance of the 555 five, that we ah, on everything. Uh, all so, right. So, for example, <laughs> what is, <laughs> why do you guys use the number why five? Why do you use five? Ah, so... Five uh, in Thai language, we pronounce ha. <laughs> yes. So can you guess? <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, that's so fun. I literally, we were writing out the Thai for um, an interview mm-hmm. with the cast of You're My Sky. And I was yeah. writing out one of their birthdays had a five in it. And I was like saying it out loud so that I knew whenever I could, whenever it, I had to say it to yeah. him. Mm-hmm. And I was like, blah, 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 ha. And it's like in that moment, it just hit me. I was like, oh, it's ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Chai, that's it's right. Ha, ha ha Because if you're into K-pop, you learn that the, they use F because. Well, it's it's a it's a cuss. It, right. Yeah. They're they're oh. they're, they're they're like laughing. The hard K. Right. Yeah. Right. It's the letter for the hard K sound yeah. in Korean. So it's, oh. it's funny that like each culture has a nuance. And we were also talking about the fact that, like, in English, we don't have a symbol. We have, uh-huh. like, we literally we have be words. like, ha, 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 or L-O-L. Uh, right. L-O-L. You know, there's not a symbol that we would use. No. Yeah. Or a letter. Uh, a letter. Yeah. <laughs> but mostly you guys say, ha, 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 like, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. We'll type yeah. it out. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. But yes. Five, good to know that. five is Do you get that question ha. a lot? <laughs> <laughs> five, 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 yeah. Like, why do people, why, do, why is there fives everywhere in Thailand? <laughs> yeah. Ha, 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 ha. It's ha, ha. pronounced ha. <laughs> okay, so talking about Bangkok a little bit, we have, Siam has come up a lot lately, truly, in so many conversations, so many conversations. about the the air conditioning, about, like, it's oh, okay. shopping. Can you tell us what Siam is? Can you describe it? What because is this you place? Said you this went. magical. What is this magical place? <laughs> where, so Siam actors get discovered. <laughs> that's right. So Siam is how to say there is many. It's basically it's a department store. It's really big department store. Gotcha. Yeah. Are there other things there besides stores? 
Like, is there oh, anything else there, or is it just shopping? It's just a mall. You can you can fly like almost everything, like the restaurant, the brand name thing stuff, the IT things, many things. It's where they yeah. have a lot of the events too, right? Like exactly a lot of product events, meet and greets, concerts. Like yeah, that's right. That's right. Them. Yeah, because when you were there, we were like William. Literally, every BL actor known to man was at Siam, and you were like, "Oh, really?" Siam. <laughs> oh yeah. How do you pronounce? How it? do we pronounce it? Yeah. Actually, we pronounce Siam. Siam. Okay. Mm, Siam. And then, are there multiple ones? Because is is there a Siam Paragon? Is or is that- oh yeah. Place. Uh different place. Yeah, but oh. they are together. Are, re- are they connected somehow? Yeah, connected. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's real. I'll, I'll take yeah. you guys there. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to Thailand. We should be making a list of all the yeah. places they William should. said he was going to take us to. <laughs> shopping, shopping. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, That's so right. Sayam. 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 Chai, hap, chai. The tones are hard in Thai, I think. Yeah. Are harder oh. than I thought they were. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Chai, hap. There's one new, t- I don't know if it's a tone, but there's an actor's name that you, so another just fun story about you. We okay. frequently will will lie to you and be like, William, we need help. <laughs> Whenever we lied, William, because the three of us are in a chat, we just like scream his name. Yeah, We're we like, go, William! William, exclamation point. <laughs> William. But... William. Can you hear us saying it when we were like messaging? <laughs> yeah. Well, something should, you know, happen like that. <laughs> So we frequently will ask you, we'll be like, William, how do we pronounce this? And you will send us, honestly, you're like the nicest, you're the nicest boy because (laughs) you will send us voice notes for how to pronounce things. And we can always hear stuff in the background. So we know that like you're you're in in public and you're just like talking into your phone and (laughs) people probably are looking at him like, what is this guy doing? Why is he he saying tiger and tie into his phone? (laughs) <laughs> shy, I'm shy. But that was a hard one for the tones for me. Was su 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 That's su-a. even like a, a like a your mouth. You have does to like a move your thing. chin differently. Yeah. It's like yeah, that's the vowels. Yeah, Thai vowels. It's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, actually, there's two. Okay. Okay, come to the lesson. Yes. Uh, there's two, <laughs> there's two uh, vowels together. So the first one is uh, you need to smile. Uh. Uh, uh. Another one you need to open your mouth. Ah, uh, uh. so uh, uh, together. Uh, 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 that's right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so, uh, that's me, uh, Tiger. Uh. I love that you have to smile when you say his name. Oh my gosh. Exactly. I love him. Unabashedly, I love him. We're big fans of this actor now. You are unaware. Sia. Sia. Yes. Mm. yes. Chai. Okay. Okay. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Thai. Speaking of language, speaking of learning how to speak. Yeah. What are some good Thai phrases that we should learn just for like daily use, right? Because I mean, as BL fans, we know how to say like, Narak. We know how to say someone's oh. cute, and we know how to say like "I love you," yeah. but that's not really useful if you're trying to like go to a restaurant. Uh huh. <laughs> so, what are some good Thai phrases for just like everyday use? Ah, uh, I'll say, "Where's the restroom?" Oh. <laughs> so, what is that? Uh so restroom in Thai we say "Hong Nam." Hong Nam. Ah, uh, Hong is in room. Nam is in water. Yeah, water room, restroom, yeah. Hong Nam. Then where is it? We say, you tea nai. You tea nai. Oh, so that's right. Hong Nam, you tea You tea nai. You tea nai. Shai. And then you can replace anything like maybe, sayam, you tea nai. It's like Korean. When I went to Korea uh, right before the pandemic, yeah, you say odio. So you can say anything. Odio. Odio, yeah. Right? Oh. You can say like Shio, which is bathroom. Odio. Yeah. Where's bathroom? Uh, but like odio. Any, odio. Nice. <laughs> so UT9. 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 Yeah. Something. Something yeah, yeah. UT9. Yeah, yeah. Shai have UT9. Exactly. 
Yeah. Just you survive in Thailand. <laughs> I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's it. And get to the mall. And yeah, I, I can. I can get to the boys, and I can get to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Two That's very important things. Or just like have William meet you. Well, yeah, or William just hangs out with yeah, me yeah, yeah, and yeah. follows me around. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which he that way easier. Yeah, 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 which he already <laughs> said he was going to do. So, I mean, you're going to open that tourism business. So, like, have yeah. my Thai teacher tours you around Thailand. We got some alliteration. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> William, you know what you should do? There's also this service, and I know you've looked into this. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> where you can rent a boyfriend <laughs> in Korea. Boy you can rent an opa. It's called Rent an oh. Opa. I heard that. Is okay, that true? So William, yes, it's a real thing. You should rent a pee. You should be able to rent a pee. <laughs> like Pinong. But William, it's you. You're just a cute boy people can like cut like follow around. Yeah. And then just find oh. other cute boys that you can teach how to yeah. very platonically flirt and show them Thailand. Wow, that, that's a good idea. A good idea, William. You can you can go to Siam <laughs> to find the boys. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> business you, and you can run like tuk tuk ads tuk tuk ads <laughs> yes. we, fun fact we just ran a tuk tuk ad in collaboration with a fan club and there are two tuk tuk ads around thailand right now with our little logo on it <laughs> and ayla's artwork <laughs> honestly that that's a, a good idea my future business who yes. knows yeah, we we will be investors. My, yeah, I'll be an investor, and my only request is when I come to Thailand, you have to give me the cutest boy. <laughs> like yeah. I have to get the cutest pee. Oh, that would be Sua, and you know, uh, it would be Sua. Yeah. Sure, we can like yeah, give the cutest one. <laughs> Thank you. So okay, speaking of phrases, I have some other just like essential phrases that I like to learn when I travel. Mm -hmm. So how would we say? I would like to order and then a food item. So if you want pad thai, how would I say I would like to order pad thai? Ah, in Thai we say ao pad thai. Ao oh, means oh, like so you want it. Yeah. Ao something. Ow. Like ao? Like ao. Ao. Ow. Like it hurts? Yeah. Ow. Like Ow. 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 Like that. Yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> and you can say that for any any food Ow. item. Is Coffee? it just for restaurants? Coffee. Ah, most Mostly for the the thing that you order, like food or beverage or mm. yeah. Is it coffee, coffee and Thai like cafe? What is cafe? It? Ah, cafe. Thai. Ow, coffee. Ow, ow, cafe. Amazing. Thai, cup. Ow, cafe. Ow, pad Thai. Amazing. So easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. 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 And then, right. of course, I always recommend when traveling that you learn how to say, like, thank you and I'm sorry. But we are oh. not in Thai. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. What, do you, what is it, Ayla? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> thank you is kapun ka. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry is, oh, my gosh, wait, I know it's this. It's so hard. I, I have trouble with I'm sorry because I can't hear it. Like, I can't hear the enunciation of it. It's something very like you have to do something with your mouth, like it's a whole thing. William, tell us what I'm sorry is. Call <laughs> toad. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. Call toad. Call toad. How is that? How is that romanized? Call K O call toad T O D. Call toad. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Really good. Amazing. Okay. Any so, any other like phrases? Yeah, anything else we should know? Oh, this is so wait. Is that going to be like next part? Like culture? Things? Yeah. Oh, let's move on then. Yeah, let's talk about like tell us about the cultural things that visitors should know that we should know before we come. Because there is some very specific stuff that happens in America that I think that we don't realize is weird. <laughs> Uh -huh. other or different, cultures not or weird. different. It's just different. So, yeah. like for example, I I have some Korean friends, and one of my Korean friends told me, and she grew up in Korea, uh -huh. and he told me she was like, honestly, 
when I would see American TV shows and I saw people hugging all the time, mm. I just assumed y'all didn't do that in real life. <laughs> and she was like, and when I got to America and like strangers were hugging each other, it was so weird yeah. for me. But so as oh. Americans, we're like, I met someone for the first time the other day and we went to lunch and then at the end of lunch, we hugged. And we had only <laughs> known each other for like an hour. And that wasn't weird. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So, I see. what are some like cultural things like that that we should know? In Thai, uh, actually, you cannot touch somebody hair. Oh. Or hate. Yeah, because we we consider hate is like the most you know highest place. You cannot you know randomly you know touch other bodies hate. Yeah. Oh, so that's why it has so much significance when they pat when so they there's a show that's out right now called you're my sky <laughs> bringing it <laughs> apparently it always comes back <laughs> to yeah. now yeah, yeah. um uh. and there's a moment when the boy that he is like interested in pats his head and it's like really significant and for us like that's not yeah it's not that's right. So then how would strangers greet each other in Thailand? Is there any oh. type of physical greeting or is it pretty much just like... Like no touching. Yeah. No touching. We do like, like why? This is called why. Yeah, why? Right. Like this. Yeah, for greeting. But so strangers, I guess what we're trying to what we're trying to get at, the root <laughs> of this question is... Yes, Ayla, what are we trying to get what at? What we're trying to get at is uh, like... Again, I I heard the story from a Korean, so it's it's a different uh -huh. culture. Yeah. That like meeting Americans, they'll meet for the first time and they'll go get coffee or they'll go to a cafe and then they'll want to take a picture together. Mm -hmm. And in Korean culture, like putting your arm around someone like this for the picture when you've mm -hmm. just met, you can't do. It, uh... Is that something you would do? Like, like if, if we were, if to, we were meet to meet an actor, an actor on the street, what like how much physical touch is inappropriate? Because yeah. again, as Americans, there's really like as long as you're not being weird, you uh -huh. like, you know can can <laughs> yeah. okay. Because I mean, as long as you're not being inappropriate, yeah. Ah, like in in Thailand, also yeah, same as like you know Korea, not really you know touchy. We just just take pictures. That's it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We talked about this a few times where there's this thing, it seems like in university, where if you see a cute boy, you go take a picture with him, even if you don't know, know him. who he is. And so you'll see a lot of like people taking photos together and at graduations and stuff. Like, they, oh. like actors will have fans come and like to their graduation and take photos. And yeah, you just see them standing kind of like side by side. Right. Like, there's not really any, uh, like close yeah closeness right. like yeah. yeah that's right that's right but actually it also depends depends yeah. yeah so the closer you get with someone the more you would like be physically touchy feely with them exactly because in some asian cultures like hugging is a thing that even family members don't do right yeah Honestly, Mostly. In some American families hugging is a thing that people don't do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're very, I'm very affectionate. But I, I think that it's, I think it, it potentially could be a common misconception because as fans, yeah, what we see are actors who are friends with each other and they have these really deep right. relationships, and so they're very touchy feely with each other. And it's part of the like the culture of ship work right of ship work mm -hmm. is to be like physically touching and so i think it could be a little bit of a misconception that like it's okay to maybe hug someone you've just met because that's what you see yeah if you're mm -hmm. a bl fan on the same note are couples pretty physically affectionate in public not really interesting yeah it's like different things from you know the u.s right yeah yeah, Asian is more like you know, what's it called? Conservative. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So interesting. Yeah. But so, are there any other cultural things that visitors should know that we should know if we come to to Thailand, so that we can be? Oh yeah, comfortable? actually, that's one thing that you guys must know. Big is about um, how to say, the food. Oh yeah. Yeah, like Thailand, Thai people eat like so spicy. So when you when you order the food and you say not spicy, that means spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so when so when people say they don't like spicy food that means like they don't like super spicy food because all food is spicy yeah all food is spicy if you don't if you are the one who don't eat you know spicy you should say not put the chili on my food that's <laughs> it's like a baby food yeah you should order like that honestly that'll be me that won't be me because so my I go when we go to Thai restaurants here, yeah, in the states. Usually, on the menu, you can order a level between one and five. Mm-hmm. Usually, it has little chilies on, and it, it too. has little yeah, like a number <laughs> of chilies. And I always say I want five because I really like oh. spicy food. Okay, and they're always like, "Are you sure? Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yes, please. I like spicy food because of where I was raised, like culturally, in the part of the United States where I grew up. We mm-hmm. eat a lot of spicy food. There are a lot of peppers in our foods, like things like that. So oh. I just like since I was a little kid have been eating really spicy food. So I like mm-hmm. spicy food, but every time they'll bring me a five. And it's not spicy at all. Like, it's not spicy enough. And I think it's because they're like, this white person, she doesn't know. (laughs) She doesn't know. But I feel like I always – and so I've gotten to the point where I'll go to some Thai restaurants, and if their scale is 1 to 5, I'll be like, give me a 20. (laughs) 20. (laughs) Like, I'm like, you don't understand. I genuinely want it spicy. So you spicy, yeah. Yeah. When I finally come to Thailand and order food, it's going to be very confusing for me because I'm going to have, like, I feel like I don't really know how spicy Thai food is because none mm. of the Thai restaurants here trust me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> William, do you like spicy foods? I love spicy food. Oh, yeah. Nice. What is your, like, go-to food order when you're what's, eating out? Yeah, what's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food? I love, do you know uh, papaya salad? I have yeah. never tried it, but I've you seen it on that. so many uh, menus. It's really, how to say, tasty, sour, spicy. Yeah, and it's really healthy. I'm so curious to know what it tastes like because for in, in American food, a salad that has fruit in it is really sweet. Oh. Like it would be a sweet. So is papaya salad sweet or what? Like what does it taste like? The papaya itself is, how to say, what's that called? No test. More like blend. It's like copper. Oh, it's bland. Yeah, more, yeah, and put some, you know, some sauce, some, you know, spice on that. Mm. Spicy, basically spicy, sour, sweet. I bet it's a lot like our broccoli salad where like it broccoli is just the thing that carries like the <laughs> sorry. The like <laughs> broccoli salad's gross. <laughs> I see your face. I see your face like <laughs> It's just if it's anything that, like broccoli salad, I will not be eating it because broccoli salad is No, no, no. Salad it's like gross. the thing that carries the sauce. Like the broccoli is mm-hmm. not the point. It's yeah. like the ah. sauce is the point. Yeah. Ah, yeah. the sauce is the point. Yeah, broccoli salad always has mayonnaise in it, and I don't eat mayonnaise. Mm. So. Oh. I don't. Oh. Is, is that American food? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I it's love very to try. southern. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's something you'll find a lot in the southern part of the yeah. United States. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, so speaking of food, a lot of times in drama specifically, we'll see two characters giving each other food, taking food from their plate and putting it on someone else's plate. Oh. And it and they act like they just got married. They just got married. <laughs> this is like a declaration of love. Or especially if they're trying to hide their relationship from like other family members. It's like it happened doesn't it happen until in in until we meet again when they're like at the grandmother's house. Right. And it also happens in Dark Blue Kiss in Dark Blue very Kiss. famously. Yeah. So is is like sharing food with people a thing is that so if, if we go to thailand and some boy <laughs> and you puts like food, food on our plate does that mean they're like flirting <laughs> like what because in america that's not the no, case ah uh, mm, also depends on people actually put you know the food to someone's plate is mean it's a sign of caring if you oh. care someone you you do that like that gotcha. but it's not necessarily flirting no it can be family members and friends yeah it just has a significance. Probably these shows make it, give it that significance. That extra yeah. significance. Mm, that's right. But friends, for friends, we don't really do it. Yeah. I yeah. Fr- just, we, I feel like we share food all the time. We share food all the yeah. time. Ah, share food. But if you put like your food to your friend, 
I mean, plate is is a little bit, you know, like the love feeling, like you know. Oh, that's what I'm asking. Is like, so if if, if we were... giving food to a lot of boys in Thailand. <laughs> Uh, yes, I love. Yeah, it. something to say. <laughs> if we, so if we were to like go out and Beth Ann puts food on William's plate, she's flirting with you, right? Yeah. Would that be the case? Can be, yeah, it can be. Okay, it could be. It's just so yeah. curious because again. I like I went out to lunch with somebody that I had just met and we all went as a group, but the two groups had just met for the first time uh -huh. and we went to this really good restaurant and and everybody ordered something different. And so we were like cutting off pieces of the food we we ordered and putting it on each other's plates like, hey, do you want to try this? Yeah, it did. Uh -huh. Anyone was flirting. With yeah, you, you'll do it with complete strangers. Like right. You'll do it met. with strangers. Yeah, uh, I see. That's actually OK. But if you like how to say specifically do with you know someone like only one person <laughs> that <laughs> yeah william we're gonna go get some dinner when we get to Thailand. i'm just trying to understand <laughs> the intricacies so if the three of us went to dinner <laughs> oh my god and everybody was putting food on each other's plates not, not flirting but if beth ann is putting food on <laughs> william's plate only obviously obviously, obviously. Flirting. okay now we know. I now mean. now everyone knows how to flirt in Thailand. First step, go to Siam. Yeah, yeah. Second step, <laughs> find a cute boy. Third can, step, make him go to one of the restaurants with you. Can we just like sit down at a table with a boy and be like, would you like some food? <laughs> <laughs> William's like, William's like, I'm not taking you people anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I have closed the business before it even opened. There will be no worship ceremony. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So William, <laughs> you dressed up so special for us today. You look beautiful. Can you Thank tell, you. Can you, can, you, can you tell us like why you would wear that out, like where you would wear that outfit to? Ah, uh, because today topic is about like you know Thai things, right? Thai yes. culture. So I think I'll take a chance to you know uh, how to say to what is that to spare the culture. Or yeah. like other people. This is Thai costume. Can you see? Yeah. Actually, this is so fancy. I can't can see this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is Ooh. so fancy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. To show like so you guys the culture. And so what what is this outfit? Would you wear it to like a worship ceremony? Would you wear it for a festival? When when would you wear this not just for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly we do like Oh, uh, for the specific festival, yeah, mm. that's right. Check and is do the colors or any part of it have meaning specific to you, or is it just like you pick a color, you pick a thing? Ah, because I pick yellow color because it's my how to say my Chanel color. <laughs> oh, cute! <laughs> and and how to say I I like yellow like gold yellow like that yeah so that's why oh cool yeah because there's there there are some cultures where certain things you know because like in scotland for example if you pick a certain pattern of of tartan of yeah of kilt then it it has something to do with your family like your family is tied to that specific pattern ah yeah. okay but with this, uh, it's just what you like Actually, I'm going to wear like pink and blue for you guys. But when I try it on, like you know, you know, pink and my skin, I'm um, I have like tan skin, and you yeah. know, it's like so. I'll share. <laughs> well, you're so fashionable. I know you are so fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> you're so stylish. So stylish. We always stylish. were afraid that when we did the interviews, that some manager was going to see you and steal you away to be an actor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> William, has anybody ever approached you and Siam uh, about being an actor? <laughs> no, oh no, not yet, not yet, not yet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, yet. not yet. It'll happen. We <laughs> have, happen. we have it. We had a chat with one of the artist managers, and we took oh. notes because she is true. Like she truly like moved back to Thailand from being in the states and fully was like talk to a friend and they were like how do you feel about artist management and she was like okay and they gave her two two of two like boys. truly the most famous boys mm -hmm. now 
And oh. so like, that's my goal. We're, <laughs> we're just waiting for you to get scouted. We think it's going to happen. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. We're wrapping it up. This we're going to wrap so it up. Fun. This was really fun. Yeah. Okay. Hop. I'm sure there are many more questions, which people can go to your channel and like learn more because you do culture as well as language stuff, which is awesome. Yeah. You have the most fun content. True. True. Cup and cup. That's how I found you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to play a little game of this or that. Okay, let's go. So this or that, answer it off the top of your head as soon as you hear it. Yeah. Okay. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Nice. What's your username? At? Uh, at my Thai Tisha. Yes. <laughs> I <Ten>. forgot. I <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, okay, coffee or tea? Tea. Ooh. What's your favorite kind of tea? I love the um, jasmine tea. I really like jasmine tea too. Do you also drink coffee? Actually, I cannot drink too much coffee. Yeah, because when I drink, like, take like too much caffeine, most, uh, how say, especially coffee, my hands shake. Like, oh, interesting. Yeah. Good I don't drink coffee either. I love coffee. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sweet or salty? Salty. Ooh. Okay. What's your favorite salty snack? Uh, salty snack? I'll say fish. What is that called? Crips? Oh, uh, like, uh, like, yeah. I don't know how to say it in, in English. Like fish, but... uh, like crisps, the little like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're called like, chips. Chips. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, mostly. Uh, okay. Mountains or sea? Sea. The sea. Okay. Because I'm a mountain guy. So <laughs> yeah, I love sea. your province oh, is very mountainous. Yeah, that's right. So what's your favorite beach to go to in Thailand? Oh, uh, I love the um do you know PP Island? No. Oh, I'll take you guys there next okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to move to Thailand for like two months so yeah. William can like show us around. William can take us everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was it. You did it. Yes. You were the star today, William. <laughs> Cup and cup. We had fun, William. So fun. Wani Me Sanuk. too. Wani Sanuk Maika. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Me too. <laughs> Same here. Uh, well, as usual, <laughs> thank you for being here with us today. Cup and cup. Oh, thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, this has been Let's Talk BL. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep up with all things Let's Talk BL at Let's Talk BL and at My Thai Teacher. So, Thai, don't forget to like, subscribe, and subscribe to Let's Talk BL and My Thai Teacher.